It's been horrible. It's been hell. LaVita Pettigrew's son, Jamil, was shot and killed on the 4th of July on his way home from being with friends. It's the fourth teenager killed in Fort Dodge since the beginning of May. He should be burying me. He should, I shouldn't have to bury my child. Every day since his death, family and friends have put together a memorial for Jamil where he was murdered. But each morning, it's gone. And they just destroyed it all. Not one day, but two days. She says other memorials in the area have been left untouched. KCCI found out it was the city that was removing the memorial. We asked why. It has everything to do with location. The fact that there was memorials attached to a stop sign, the fact that it is in the right of way, right next to a busy intersection, made it a hazard. LaVita believes her son's death is being treated differently because Jamil is the brother of DJ Pettigrew, the suspect in a May shooting in Fort Dodge. For my son being involved with something and that happened to be his brother, they just disregarded my kid. They may have the same last name, and they may have the same bloodline, but that doesn't mean that they're both bad kids. The city has kept the items from the memorial, two cardboard boxes full of flowers, balloons, and candles. Just this morning, the city says they returned the items to a close family member. I feel bad, and I actually apologize if I created any more any more, uh, you know, emotional difficulty with what you're going through right now, but we have to you know, be careful and maintain safety and we'll work with you on wherever we can put the stuff that, that is, is also safe. I'm not going to let them make me choose somewhere else. We'll, we're going to keep that same spot, but we don't have to use that stop sign. LaVita wants justice for her son. We're going to go above and beyond to get my son's name out there to make sure that everybody knows if they don't know already that we're going to get justice for my son. A community candlelight vigil will be held for Jamil tonight at 8 o'clock at a local nonprofit here in town. In Fort Dodge, Ophelia Jacobson, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. And the suspect in the latest shooting is now in police custody. This man, Jamarian James J.J. Davis, faces a first-degree murder charge. Police say he tried to run away from officers as they tried to search a house in Fort Dodge. Court documents say this week's murder appears to be in retaliation of a May murder. Police say on May 2nd, Devonque Pettigrew shot and killed 18-year-old Patrick Walker. Pettigrew is the older brother of Jamil Redding Pettigrew, the 15-year-old killed this week in Fort Dodge. Officers say when Davis found out the two were related, he found and shot Redding Pettigrew. And the city of Fort Dodge sent out a letter to community residents after Tuesday's shooting. The city says it will continue to engage with residents and find solutions. The mayor, city manager, police chief all signed that letter. They say Fort Dodge is a safe community and, quote, we can't let the actions of a few define who we are.